Welcome back. The Walmart project in Derby is underway, but will it be successful? Well, time will tell, but I checked out the Littleton location to see just how much the town benefited when Walmart arrived in 1998. In 1998, Littleton welcomed retailers to an area that soon became known as New Littleton. Just off Interstate 93, New Littleton soon was the home of multiple corporations, such as Shaw's, Lowe's, and Home Depot. But Walmart was the first to make landfall. We knew <clears throat> after studying things that for us to have a credible retail economy, we had to have a box store or something that would be a regional draw. It really brings people to town, and that's a good thing because we've learned through our economic development efforts that if you can't get them here, it's pretty hard to, <clears throat> to sell them uh, things. Now, Ward says that close to 10% of customers at Walmart find their way right here in downtown Littleton. Art Ty, owner of Photo Factory on Main Street in Littleton, bought the business in 1998, right around the time Walmart came to town. We were able to purchase it from a person who didn't want to compete with them, and we developed multiple times into different parts of the business as Walmarts and other boxes, staples, came to town and we reinvented ourselves in order to continue to compete with them. Ty was not the only local business owner that needed to adapt to changes. Northern Lights Music used to sell electronics. Have a good one. But now they sell instruments both in the store and on the web. Our internet sales at, at NorthernLightsMusic.com and what we do on eBay and things like that, those have uh, also boosted it. Uh, our ability to stay specialized in instrument. Ty still believes that Walmart has helped Littleton. There is a place for a Walmart in our town. It works well, it brings customers to town and provides services that we just don't have here in town. Reporting for the Vermont Center for Community Journalism, I'm Ryan Janot in Littleton.